He has a mark to beat. He's in Houston, Texas. The time has been set. He has to hammer down. He's got to go for the go. His turn to drive. She won the first night. His turn to take a pass at it tonight. The green flag is his. Off and a running, down in a charge. And you see now Cajal coming out as he completely blows the left rear tire. Spun it off of the rim, the scooper tire. A high dollar tire, around $400 tore to ribbons as he hammered down on the Chevrolet. The love pickup, right, a hard charger, and it wasn't his turn tonight. Found down in the pit on the instant replay. The rut, he's fighting it hard, trying to hold it straight, charging for the other end, going for the go, but it wasn't his turn tonight. truck over 15,000 pounds 1500 horsepower 512 cubic inch Chevrolet get your cameras ready because he does something that no other monster truck in the United States does Can't you just imagine going to work in the morning with a ride like that? As he leaves the area, one more time, ladies and gentlemen, he's a man, 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 he's a man. He said he was the best, we said he was the greatest. And one of those great nights was in Dallas, Texas, at Texas Stadium, when things just weren't working exactly right. The buses were not set correctly. We were on a very wet field, and the buses had moved. Jack Wilman in the competitive nature that he has and does so well with, and the great showmanship was determined on this evening to give the fans exactly what they had come to see, only the second bus crush in the history of the crushing industry. Jack Wilman, being the professional that he is, knew that it was a problem. He knew that there was no time to reset the buses or to reset the stage, but he tackled what looked like an almost impossible task, and that is to attempt this very, very dangerous and difficult feat, even in light of the fact that the elements were not set correctly. You can see him now working feverishly to determine what can I do, and when you see him come up on the top of these buses, what looks so easy is not now easy. There he is! You can see now, he was supposed to have both wheels squarely into the middle of the buses. Now he is off to the side. You can see that the bus is leaning. He has all those thousands of pounds of truck, and Jack Wilman is suspended there, and now he is in bigger trouble. He easily now moves back off the buses, and in most instances, drivers would have said, that's it, that's all I can do. But not Jack Wilman. He is not that kind of a competitor. He is fearless, he is skilled, and he aims to please. What he did was one of the most spectacular things you're ever going to see. If we thought the buses were wrong before, now take a look at them. They're spread apart even further. Here he comes, he's going to charge it again in what is one of those memorable moments in four-wheel driving history. Jack Wilman tackling odds that are just impossible, but willing to put his life, willing to put his truck on the line to please the fans. And this is the kind of spirit of the motor spectacular. There he is, he's back in position. Everything is moving underneath him. The buses are spread apart. He is trying his best to get the other wheel, the wheel on the driver's side, to try to take up more of the bus. But he does have the problem that these buses can completely split. He is looking it over. We have mentioned to him talking from the side, don't do it, Jack, but that's not the Jack Wilman spirit. Here he comes, look at that. He sets it squarely in the middle. He could not stop and came on over. Listen to the crowd. What a spectacular moment in, in crushing history. He hops the top, and now you would think that he's out of trouble. But no, he's not. He's got to get down. And Jack Wilman, while the crowd is cheering, is
is trying to figure out how he can very gingerly and very safely bring his truck off of those vehicles as he sits sideways. He is not properly placed. He's not properly placed on the buses and he's not properly placed on the car. Jack Woman now looks around. There's got to be a feeling of indecision, a feeling of fear, but here he comes doing the impossible. That is Completes it in flying style. Proclaim the king of the monster trucks. One happy man he is. And on the arena floor, shows some of the power of the Taurus monster truck. Kelsey Madonna, as he rolls around, the king of monster trucks. United Sports of America. Featuring Monster Mania, the greatest show on.